Okay, we're heading in. Tanner, check Tanner, check Tanner, Tanner, check Tanner, check Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different than my normal line of videos. So right now, I am in California, about to go into Nevada, and there's this cool place called Natural Air Conditioning. Now this place is an abandoned mine, an abandoned copper mine, and it has these really cool looking abandoned houses. So right now I'm walking on this giant slag heap, which is made of all of these pieces of copper slag, which is what happens when you melt the copper and this stuff floats to the top. This is the, the bad stuff that they didn't want. As you can see, these slag pieces inside the giant slag pile are pretty cool. And when I say this slag pile is giant, you can see how giant it really is. So this is all the refuse from the mine. And over here is where the actual uh, houses are. They're pretty cool because it's kind of like this old little abandoned mining town. Now I know this is out of line from my usual type of videos that I make, but I thought this was pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you. I will be making more technology videos later today or tomorrow. As you can see, we're coming up right here on the remains of an old house. So if we look inside here, we can see how it used to be a house one day and it was made so it could be built into the actual hill. It looks really cool. So right here is the little cavern where all the little houses are formed in. So right here we see one house. We also have a bunch of little houses that are surrounding this little concrete structure in the center. So these houses are pretty cool because these are the little abandoned houses that miners used to live in. Okay, we're heading in. Here we go. So as you can see, there are these cool little houses that have been cut out of the hill. And they're pretty short inside. But they actually look pretty cool. That's the uh, end of one of them. As you can see up here we have the little skylight or ceiling. Now what happened is the air flows above this little ceiling and it helps suck air through the windows and bring it inside here. And this dirt on the outside acts like insulation. Okay, so let's go check out this other building right here. Now this is another pretty cool little shed because we actually can see that it still has some grating on the front of it. Well, here we go. This is actually pretty big. We can see that this place looks pretty cool inside. If we look around here, we can see the little entrance that's made using all this wood. And it's actually a pretty big house to stand inside. Now here's another little cool abandoned house right here. So this one is actually pretty small and has a small door. But if we go into it, it's actually pretty big on the inside. Now, right here I'm standing atop some of these cool kilns that they use to actually melt the copper ore in, into uh, copper and separate that from the slag. Here's another little kiln. So right here we see the actual mine that these people who lived in these shacks used to actually mine copper. And that is where all the slag piles came from. Sadly though, this whole mine is boarded up. So there's no way of us getting into it right now. But if we look around the outside of this mine, we can actually find some extremely cool little rocks. So right here, if we look closer, we can see some extremely cool rocks like this one. These rocks have copper ore inside them. And that is why they turned greenish blue a turquoise color. Because as the copper oxidizes, it turns blue like that. So these little rocks are pretty cool to find by the mine. 
So if we look right here, this is probably how they collected their rainwater. So there's this giant urn, and it has this pipe going out. It's this octagonal urn. And if we walk a little bit far back from it, we can see that this little urn drains into this big little basin or water. So right here we see this cool thing. It looks like it was a metal cauldron for melting the copper because we see right here we have a little leg of it. And this thing before eroded may have stood up and had a fire under it and been used for melting the copper. So as you can see this mining town is pretty cool. It's got all these little houses that are abandoned that have been embedded into the hills. And they look pretty cool. So. Here it is, this old mining town that was probably abandoned long ago in the late 1800s. It was pretty cool to check out. So if you want to see more videos like this of exploring these abandoned places, check out my other channel. I'll have a link in the description. And it's where me and other friends explore these other abandoned places around my hometown and anywhere. So as always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for my next video, which will be something technology related, something cool, something where I build something. We see a native Tanner Packham in the, coming out of its hole.